When using other people's images or materials in any design project, it is important to think about copyright. We should always remember to credit the owner and abide by copyright laws. Copyright protects the legal right of the creator and governs the use of creative works such as books, music, or art. There are multiple ways to license one's creative work. Many creators use Creative Commons licensing to allow for a particular reuse of their work. Here are the different types of Creative Commons licenses and what they mean. Attribution means others can copy, distribute, display, perform, and remix the work if they credit the owner. Non-commercial use means others can copy, distribute, display, perform, and remix work for non-commercial purposes only. Non-derivative works mean you can't make any changes to the original. Share alike means others can distribute your work only under a license identical to the creative's chosen license. It is common to see some of these licenses in combination, such as attribution and non-commercial use. Creative Commons Zero is our best friend. This is because the creator has waived all rights to their creative work. This means you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking the creator's permission. One useful image search engine is the CC Search. This website allows you to find images and shows you how you can best use this image for your projects. On the Filters tab, you can tick several boxes according to how you're going to use these images. You can also access free images for your projects from the Design Lab website under Resources, Image, and Font Databases. For each database, there is a short blurb about the licenses available from there. When using other people's images, videos, and audio, another important thing to keep in mind is fair use. Fair use is the use of copyrighted material without permission from the owner as long as it is done for limited and transformative purposes, such as to make a criticism, parody, or commentary. In order for you to use someone else's copyrighted video, it is important to remember to use only a short segment of the video. Copying someone else's work is not okay, but transforming it by critiquing it or adding commentary is usually okay. Videos can also be licensed under Creative Commons and the licensing rules work the same. For more information about video design tips, stock video databases, and video editing software, you can check out the video resources page on the Design Lab website. Aside from images and videos, you can also use other creatives' audio works. However, audio is harder to cite, and the rules are a bit more complicated. If you're using copyrighted music, you should only use a few seconds of any song. For example, when using a song by Taylor Swift, you should only use about 10 to 15 seconds, and never the entire song. The music industry is typically much stricter on fair use, so it is best to avoid using copyrighted songs altogether. If you want to include music, look for audio that is licensed under Creative Commons, since the licensing works the same as for video and images. If there is attribution required, you must attribute it verbally or by including the citation on the page where the audio project will be played. Also, look for royalty-free sound, which is free and often doesn't need to be cited. For more information about audio design tips, stock audio databases, and software, you can check out the audio resources page on the Design Lab website.